she made off like a bandit. She made off like a bandit. But you know who made off like a bandit? This woman right here. <laughs> Everybody remembers this Mealy Mouth Muskrat. She's the, I think she's the original Mealy Mouth Muskrat. All right. Um, this is Megan Hall. She's a police officer from the small town in Tennessee called Laverne or Levine. I can't remember what it's called. Um, she was involved in a sex scandal late last year. That was quite embarrassing for her. It involved her voluntarily having sex with multiple police officers. All right, voluntarily having sex with multiple police officers. She's admitted to trying to have an open relationship with one, uh, cheating on several married with Mary, several married police officers. Actually, people had uh, footage of her uh, with her feet out, naked, getting ramrodded. She was showing up on her off day to get her punani pushed to her esophagus, right? All of that shit. She volunteered. Of course, when it became disclosed, she got quite embarrassed, right? She, um, she, got, she got quite embarrassed. And I followed it and did some streams saying she's following a, she's filing a sexual harassment lawsuit. She's filing a sexual harassment lawsuit. And she won. The, the, the lawsuit, the settlement was made and the lawsuit was dismissed. She's going to leave with $500,000 right there. Five hundred for volunteering to drop neck on multiple men, including married men. She came out the victim. Shit is wild. There, guys, there's no more free 304s out here. These women are legally hoeing. They hoeing, they're going to get the money somehow. Front end, back end, whatnot. Let me read the story. That's her right there riding. And you know she a little bit more freakier than this, but she was in her uniform. She had to play innocent. She had to play innocent. So she literally was showing up, sucking dick in the car, all of that. She literally was volunteering to get train gangs and orgies. Train gang. And she left with $500,000 coal and cheated on her husband. $500,000. These women are monetized, ninja. Let me read the story. Hall and four other officers were fired in January after an investigation showed she and other male officers had sex on the job, then lied about it. It says right here, the only female officer fired in connection. Well, she was the only one fucking everybody. It says right here, in connection to the scandal, has reached a $500,000 settlement with the city after dismissing a federal civil rights lawsuit against the department and her former co-workers. It says right here, the lawsuit filed in February alleged Hall was a victim of sexual harassment while being groomed for sexual exploitation. Since the sexual investigation made uh, national headlines, lawyers for Hall said she had been subjected to public ridicule and negative publicity has thwarted her attempts to regain employment. Megan Hall was a vulnerable and optimistic 24-year-old woman who had applied to be a police officer in the city of Laverne, the lawsuit said, where Mrs. Hall sought role models at her new job. She instead found predators. Ninja. The now dismissed lawsuit named the city of Laverne. I believe I'm pronouncing that right, or Levine. Uh, Alongside fire police chief, Burrell Chip Davis. I'm not gonna name all these brothers, but you see the you see their pictures down here. These ninjas were starving. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> all right. Right there. And all of these men have been fired right here. And it says right here, they use their authority to manipulate and exploit Hall. I've been telling y'all. I've been telling y'all. This shit is a new game out here. It says Megan Hall felt trapped in the role assigned to her at the city of Levine, I think. And it says right here, in an attempt to escape, she nearly deleted herself. Then the city blamed her for everything. This lawsuit seeks justice for Megan Hall. Hall frequently experienced a workplace permeated with sexual innuendo, sexual exploitive behavior. Some officers like Powell repeatedly asked her for sex, putting pressure 
on her to perform sexual acts, the lawsuit said. Yeah, mm. brothers, God damn. It's all Jermaine's fault. It's always Jermaine's fault. I've been telling y'all this. Haven't I been telling y'all? I'll be like, don't mess with women at your job. Oh, coach, man, don't worry about it, man. I'll mess with all the women at my job. Okay. All right, ninja. I mean, listen, I'm saying it's your best interest not to, especially if you have like a career position. If you have a job position, it's different. This caused Hall to eventually give in to their requests. Wow. Th look at this, guys. This caused Hall to eventually give in to their requests. Davis, who was fired after a third-party investigation into the sex scandal, solicited pornographic images of Hall from the supervisors at the police department and actively encouraged McGowan to engage in sexually exploitive behaviors like non-consensual sharing of nude photographs and participating in degrading sexual activity. Most of the claims de uh, detailed in the lawsuit were substantiated by a third-party investigation. Uh, Ms. Hall is entitled to an award of punitive damages against defendants Powell, McGowan, and Davis in an amount to be determined by a jury for the acts committed with malice and reckless disregard described in the complaint, the lawsuit said. Hall settlement money will not come from taxpayer dollars. The city's insurance providers will pay the sum of the $500,000 to Hall as a gross settlement. Okay. Okay. I mean, I actually did several streams on this one, but I told you this was coming, man. Yo, how fast? It's barbecue in there. Removal of consent. I was embarrassed. Uh, they, they're, guys, it's a, it's a new day. You guys got to wake up to it. I know you guys are still wanting to challenge the system. The Me Too movement is real. The Me Too movement is real. We live in a new world. I'm, I'm telling you guys to make an adjustment. We, 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 we live in a new world where the woman seeks, um, the, the, today's woman seeks financial payment for mostly these things. I mean, in the form of marriage, divorce. Lawsuits, I said lawsuits are the new form of divorce because women aren't marrying like they are, they were before. So they would normally have married and then divorced or married in child support. But the birth rates declining and marital rates and all that. So now they didn't get married or this woman did, but now they didn't get married and they just go for the lawsuit. So Cassie did the lawsuit is better than the divorce. It's the new divorce. Now, wow, damn, that's crime and law CGA. Unbelievable. If you enjoyed this clip, check me out on the Free Agent Lifestyle channel for the best morning live stream every weekday. And of course, we're back for the evening live streams as well. Check out the times in the featured channels on this channel right here. And also, the links are in the description box. I will see you there. New, 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 new world order.